Imagine, you had a digital twin of your downstream chromatography process, creating a faster environment for research, development, and innovation. But what is a digital twin? Digital twins are commonly understood as virtual representations of real-world processes. They can be built using mechanistic or statistical models. Statistical approaches like big data, machine learning, and artificial intelligence utilize statistics to predict trends and patterns. All these models learn from experience, provided in the form of data, lots of data. Their drawback is, however, that they can only predict results within the data space they're calibrated from. Since they're based on correlation and not on causality, models are a black box and don't provide deep process understanding. Mechanistic models are, instead, based on physical and biochemical principles. Few experimental data is needed to calibrate the model and determine unknown model parameters. Since natural laws are generally valid, these models are valid as well, even far beyond the calibration space. Now you know how these models are set up, but what impact does that have on creating a digital twin? Based on natural principles, mechanistic models allow you to generate process understanding and thus fulfill quality by design obligations, which is not the case with statistical models. Statistical models are further bound to their calibration range and do not allow any process change. Mechanistic models are generally valid, so you can easily change process parameters and the setup. For example, switching from a step elution to a gradient or vice versa. Unfortunately, mechanistic models require profound mathematics to set up a digital twin, and things soon get quite complicated. The good news is, our GoSilico chromatography modeling software reduces the complexity of mechanistic modeling. You can now bring your digital twin to life.